What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing makeup products that are not worth your money, not worth your dollar bills. Okay, so just because I think these makeup products are not worth the money doesn't mean you feel the same way. Some of these may be your holy grails, okay? But for me personally, these products were just overpriced and totally not worth it. So if that video idea or what, what? If this interests you, then just keep on watching. First off, I want to start with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Now, the quality of this palette, beautiful. The pigment of these shadows, great. It's amazing, okay? It's, it's a good eyeshadow palette, I'm not gonna lie. The pigment's nice, the colors, they're nice, but this is $54. No. No, 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 not worth the money. Um, again, some of these products may be, may work well. They're just not worth the money, you know? Like, this is great. It works, it works good, but it's not worth the money. You know what I'm saying? Because you could easily pick up this Morphe 35O palette that has the exact same tones. For $22. Why would someone spend $54 on what? 14 shades? 12 shades? $14 or $14 on 12 shades. That's actually a pretty good deal. $54 on 12 shades when you could spend $22 on $35. Now I know some people have mixed feelings about Morphe because all these discount codes or whatever. I don't have a discount code with Morphe and I don't plan to have a discount code with Morphe. Obviously I'm a tiny channel. But yeah, I just it's not worth the money. It's not. The next thing that's not worth the money is this Lancome Tint Edel Ultra Wear Foundation. I believe this is $50. I will be putting the price of each item on the screen, so if I mess up the price, then the real price will be on the screen. But I do believe this is $50, and that is not, this is not worth the price. Now, I am wearing it today. I'm wearing it today. I'm not gonna lie. It's a nice foundation. I'm wearing it just because like I bought it so I like I feel like I have to wear it. You know what I'm saying? But not worth the money because this $11, $12 foundation from Maybelline, this uh, Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation is better in my opinion. It's more full coverage and goes on smoothly and it's affordable. I definitely recommend trying this before buying a $50 foundation. And if you guys want to know what shade I'm in, I'm in 090, 090 for this Lancome one. And for the Maybelline one, I'm 102 Fairy Porcelain, but I'm not really 102 Fairy Porcelain because I have to mix it with a white shade because that's how pale I am. It does have a cute rose though, like on the end, but that's not going to fool me, okay? Just because you have a cute, cute packaging does not mean you're worth the price, okay? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Now, next up, I have this tiny sample. I know it's a sample, guys, but I've still had time to try it out. I've tried this out, like, what, three or four times? Um, This is the Guerlain, the famous Guerlain Lore Radiance Primer. The Lore. Guer, this is the Guer, famous Guerlain, 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 whatever, primer that has the gold flecks in it, you know? It is a sample, but that doesn't mean I don't know how it works. What? Hopefully you guys know what I mean. Um, I've tried this three different times with a foundation that I know works for me. I've tried this with foundation that I know works for me so that way I know if this makes a difference and it doesn't. I don't notice it affecting the longevity of my makeup. I don't notice it gliding on smoother. I don't notice it doing anything. Nothing. I just... And especially for, what is this originally, like the regular price, like 70 something dollars or something like that? I don't know. Again, I'll put it on the screen, but it is way overpriced and totally not worth it. Now, some people swear by this, so your experience may be different than mine, but for me, it didn't do anything. And I was very, very disappointed, and I'm glad I did not spend the full amount for the full size of this, because no, no. Okay, next we have this Colored Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It's a beautiful palette, but I don't think it's worth the money. 
it's a cute palette you guys but let's see five of these shades are really kind of neutral this is just a shimmery white gold type shade uh, 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 uh. You know, that's how I feel about this palette, you guys. Um, the price point was ridiculous. When I saw that price point, I was like, mm, no. <laughs> I don't know why I bought it, but I just, I bought it anyway. But you guys, I don't think it's worth the price. I think you can get the same quality from something as cheap as this Retro Love Eyeshadow Palette by Bad Habit Beauty. This is what? $10? And this is what, like 50 something dollars? And I feel like the quality is the same. These are a little bit more powdery, but this is way too expensive. Like 30, 40 at the highest, but you just made that price point way too, way too, way too much, way too much. I love you, Colored Rain. I love you, but no. No. Okay, and the last product I do not think is worth the money is this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Now, it's kind of like the Lancome Tainty Doll one, where this is $50, I believe, and my Maybelline one works better. So, um, yeah. Uh, this isn't as full coverage as the Maybelline one. Again, guys, as you can tell, coverage is something I look for in a foundation. So, um, uh, I just noticed the Maybelline one wearing longer than this one. It's, it's full coverage. It's, it's cheaper. And this is just kind of a meh product. Again, guys, I will still continue to use this because I spent money on it, obviously. But that does not mean I think it's worth the money. It's just... You can find better options at the drugstore, trust me. So that was just a handful of things that I do not think is worth the money. Um, I could definitely do another video like this if you guys want. I'm just trying to help you guys save your dollar bills. Like you don't need these products. There's better, the better, <laughs> better affordable options out there. Don't feel like you need to buy these products or that they're good because they're a higher price point. Like no no honey no sweetie pie no anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already and comment because i read all of your comments and i love every every single one of them even the hate comments even the hate comments i love you all and i will hopefully see you all on the next one